friends, today we're gonna draw a unicorn. Yeah, we hope you're gonna follow along because art is always better with? With friends. Yeah, with friends like you. Now you need your crayons and also some paper. What colors do we have? We have rainbow colors. Yeah, we have the whole rainbow. And start at the top, what's this color? Red, orange, yellow, green, blue, purple, and black. black. That's not really a rainbow color, yeah. but we're going to use that to draw with. You ready to start? Yeah. We're using shapes to draw our unicorn and we're first starting with black. black. Yes. Let's first draw an oval shape for the body. And I'm going to draw it right here in the middle of the paper and I'm going to draw it about this big. Just start right about here and right about that big. Yes. Oh, good. Now let's draw the neck. We're gonna draw a straight line coming up from the left side of our oval. That's the front of the neck. Then we're gonna draw an oval for the head. And we're gonna draw it about this big. On top, it looks like a sucker. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> now we're gonna draw the back of the neck and we're gonna start up here at the top of the head and we're gonna draw a curve coming down. So right here, draw a curve coming down to there. Yes. Okay, now let's draw the legs and we're going to draw our unicorn running or galloping. We're going to start by drawing an upside down L. We're going to draw a line that comes out and then down. Yes, and then down. Okay, now let's make this leg a little thicker. We're going to draw the bottom of the hoof or the foot and we're going to draw a little line like this. And then we're going to draw the other side of the leg coming up and then back in. Looks like an upside down L. Yeah. Yes. There's one leg. Let's draw another leg. We're going to repeat the same steps. We're going to come out and then down. Oh, I love the shape of your horse. Okay, now we're going to draw the bottom of the foot again. Then we're going to come up and then into the body. Yes. Now let's draw the back legs and we're going to draw kind of the same thing, but going the other direction. So we're going to draw the first line coming out like this and then down. So we can start here, draw it coming out to there and then down. There you go. And then we're going to draw the bottom of the foot again. And then we're going to come up and in. Okay, and now let's draw one more leg because we have three, right? One, two, three. How many are we supposed to have? Four. Yeah. Unicorns have four legs. Okay. Let's draw the fourth leg. We're going to start here and we're going to draw another leg right here and it's behind the other one. So we're only going to draw part of it. We can start here, come right there, and then we're going to come forward. So a little line and then forward. Oh, I like that you drew it darker. Okay, now we're going to just draw the bottom of the leg oh, and it looks like it connects to mine. So yours can connect too. Right there, and then connect it and then you can go up. Yes, we did it. Now we have four legs. What else should we add to our unicorn? Eyes. Oh yeah, I forgot. We need to draw a circle right here. I'm going to color that circle in too. And you could draw inside of your, your circle, the head. You could also draw your head a little bit bigger. If you wanted to start here, you could come down further like this and then back in. Yeah. Oh, look at that. I love that shape too. Okay, now draw a circle right here, maybe on top of that line. And you could color it in. Yes, there you go. Now let's draw our unicorn happy. And let's also draw a little nostril. Oh, we could also draw a little cheek line too. <laughs> okay, now let's draw ears. I'm gonna draw an M, the letter M. I'm gonna go up, down, up, and down. There you go, the letter M. What's our unicorn missing? It just looks like a horse. Yeah, we need a horn. Yeah, we need a horn. Let's draw the same shape as kind of this M. We're just gonna draw an upside down V, but we're gonna draw big. We want a big horn on our unicorn, right? That's the ginormous. <laughs> I know, <laughs> it's huge. <laughs> oh, I like yours. Kind of looks like a rhinoceros too. <laughs> I love that our two drawings don't look exactly the same. They're both turning out awesome. I especially love yours. I like yours too. Oh, thank you. The most important thing is? To have fun and practice. And practice. Remember to practice. Okay, let's keep going. We forgot at the beginning of the lesson that we're going to use another color. What color is this? Pink. Yeah, pink. We're going to use this to color 
the hooves or the feet on our unicorn. Let's start with that first. So I'm gonna come down here and add pink on the bottom of the leg. And we can add this on each of the legs too. Color it in, there you go. I'm gonna color in the front hooves too. Now you don't have to color these pink. You could change the colors. You could even color them blue. Or, or brown. Or brown or purple or even black. Yeah. There you go, one more. I'm also gonna color in my unicorn horn. And you could change your color. Do you wanna color your horn differently? Yeah. What color do you wanna? Um, blue. Blue, oh, that's a really cool color for the horn. I'm also coloring in the little pink cheek. <laughs> oh, I love the blue horn, that's awesome. Oh, I like your pink cheek too. Okay, let's keep using our pink and let's add pink wings. Now you could also change these to a different color. You could change them to blue or purple yeah. or you could even use black. I'm gonna first draw a curve that comes out of the back. Yes, and then we can draw bumps for the feathers on our wing. So it was like half of it kind of looks like a heart. Oh, it does kind of look like a heart, yeah. There you go, there's your wing and in. Now let's color in the wing. That part we sped up, so remember to pause the video and take extra time to color in your wings. Now if you want to, you could also add another wing I'm gonna add this, but you can leave this off. So I'm gonna draw this curve coming up a little higher and then add a little feather up at the top so that it is behind this other one. You just can't see the whole wing yeah. since it's overlapping. You know what also I'm gonna do? You can switch to your red too, but I'm gonna do something a little different. And if you don't want to do this, you don't have to, but I'm gonna trace around my pink wing with the red that way there's a little border going around it. You traced your wing too, I like it. Let's keep using our red crayon and let's draw a rainbow hair on the back of our horse or back of our unicorn. So I'm gonna first draw a little section like this and color it in. Then let's do the same back here on the tail. Look at this, I'm gonna draw a curving. So it looks like it's in the wind flying. Yes. Okay, now let's switch colors. Which one should we do next? We could do orange. Yeah, let's do orange. We're gonna repeat the same step, but just below the red. So we're gonna color in a little block of color up here on the neck, and then also down here on the tail. Good job. Now what's our next color? We need yellow. Yellow. Let's repeat the same step just below the orange. There we go. And I'm gonna repeat that also down here on the tail. Oh, our tail is gonna be really cool when we're done. Yeah, and the hair. Yes, and the hair. Now what color are we switching to? Green. Green. I'm gonna switch, I'm gonna color in just below the yellow. And I'm gonna color just below the yellow on the tail. Oh, it's really starting to look like a rainbow back yeah. here. This is my favorite part of the whole drawing. Now what's our next color? Blue. Blue. If we're going too fast when we're switching colors, make sure to pause the video too. We're gonna do a little bit below the green and a little on the tail. Oh, we're almost done. We have one more color. Look how big that rainbow yeah. is. What's our last color, Olivia? Purple. Purple. Well, we're using purple to draw the last little bit of our rainbow hair. Oh, that looks awesome. And then the last bit on the tail. And it kind of looks um, blue when it we're doing it. It does. Yeah, it might not show up on the camera. It might look the same as the pink or the blue. I'm not sure. <laughs> Olivia, give me five. We did it. We finished drawing and coloring our cute unicorns. That was pretty simple, right? Yeah. Did you have fun? Yeah. You promise? Yeah. I hope our, our friends will take time to color their drawings also. They could even add what to the background? We can add like more um, unicorns. Yeah, you could add more unicorns. You could also color the sky blue and add clouds. Or add butterflies. Oh, butterflies would be perfect. You hope you have fun drawing unicorns. We do, we hope you had a lot of fun and we'll see you later, our friends. Goodbye. Goodbye.